Shanti, what is the difference between strength and humility? Yes. Humility is a climax of, climax of strength. People consider strength in the form of somebody has more strength. Physical strength, mental strength, strength of money, strength of power. This is the call strength. This is what emperors did to control the world. You know, with the strength we can win other countries, we can win other people. If you are a boss, employees are afraid of losing job, they can honor you. So you have strength. But that strength is not there. Behind your back, what do they talk about? That is a sign of your strength. Look at the other people who have humility, love and compassion. They don't try to control anyone, but people have reverence for them. This is humility. Humility means one comes down. When the trees are laden with fruit, they come down. In the storm, heavy storm, the big oak trees and have strong trees get chopped off. But the flexible trees, they bow down when the wind comes, wind goes, they are intact again. So this is humility. Humility is a climax of strength. So somebody has strength, but then they have extra strength they can forgive others. That is humility. So if somebody slaps you on one cheek, you know, Christianity or all religions say, somebody hits you, forgive them, hold other cheek. This is true in a normal situation. For average person, and no, this is special situation. For normal person, one should be strong and face the situation. Don't hold the other cheek because you are weak, but hold the other cheek when you are in the position of strength. So the teaching is, hold the other cheek is only when you are at the level of compassion. You have strong, you can overpower other person, but because you have love and compassion, you forgive them. That is climax of strength. Otherwise, weak people always hold other cheek. They cannot get anywhere. So building the strength is necessary. How many conquerors came and went? They conquer, have the world. And after they're gone, nobody remembers that. And look at the people. Like Mahatma Gandhi, he spread the message of peace. Peace Pilgrim did that thing. So many people who are on the path of peace, they brought so much harmony and peace and still they are remembered. So strength, you have to build the strength first. One has, one is weak, then say, I cannot do it, then criticize people who have strength. Somebody is wealthy, somebody is in good position, criticize them, they are crooks, that's why they are well, wealthy. No, they have sacrificed. So it took strength for them to be successful. Go through college, get the degree, make the money. Whatever they did, they had to sacrifice. They needed strength. But those who are more than strength, they have abundance of everything. They are content. They don't need anything for themselves. So they give to charities. They help out others. They become ordinary person, they become humble because they don't need to prove anyone. So humility is the one that you are so much convinced that I have everything, you don't need to exhibit. So person who is new or rich, you know, just becomes rich, wants to exhibit with big car, house, throwing the parties and yachts. But somebody who is convinced then remains very humble. Somebody who gets some borrowed philosophical knowledge, they become 
teacher or guru to impress people. But those who got true knowledge, they become so humble that they become very quiet. They say if part is half filled make more, makes more noise, part that is totally filled doesn't make noise. That means humility is a saturation. Saturation of strength and contentment. So humility many times is considered like weakness. Like many times in the society people don't understand and they say, well, I'm a yoga teacher, I'm available anytime, you know, you are not known and you are available to teach for free. They say, there is no power. So this is the case when humility is considered like weakness. When you try to help others, people take advantage of you. That is weakness, it's not humility. So we have to be strong that people don't take advantage of it and don't utilize our humility as weakness. Somebody is humble would bow down to everyone. Those who have ego, they would be, remain stiff. So this bowing down is humility, don't consider as weakness. So there is fine line between humility and weakness. Weakness and humility look similar on the outside, but deep inside one is total lack of strength and humility is total climax of strength. That means just like any kind of a martial art. Okay? So somebody who knows all the weapons or they have gun and all the equipments, they are all equipped. But somebody who is real expert in it have no equipments because they are already prepared to deal with all this situation. So who is stronger with all the weapons or without any weapons? Who is strong, who talks and with anger tries to force people or somebody who is quiet and peaceful and forgives everyone. So this is the side of humility that is considered climax of strength. It is graduating one degree higher. First one is lowest stage is called Tabsic state where one has no energy. Second is Rasic state, one has energy but is self-centered energy and sattvic state, balanced energy, humility to serve others. So these are three categories.